Hey, how you doing everybody? Welcome back to Big Frog's 4x4. I'm going to be doing a mini-series on the Jeep Cherokee with the 4 liter engine. We're going to be installing new coil pack boots and spark plugs. Washer fluid pump. Four hole instead of single hole fuel injectors and a new valve cover gasket. All right, we're gonna start with the fuel injectors and then the valve cover gasket. The fuel injectors, as you can see in the picture here, have four holes instead of one hole directly in the middle. The reason you wanna go with the four hole injector is you should have see a small improvement in fuel economy and a small improvement in, in power because the four holes spray more evenly and more finer inside the cylinder, giving you a more controlled and better burn. All right, most of thing you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter and a flathead screwdriver and a tool to press in and release your fuel line from the fuel rail. All right, now you want to leave your fuel pressure. Now, if you have a fuel pressure gauge that you can screw into here with the hose and run it into a cup or a bucket or something, you could do that. Or just take a bunch of old rags, pack around here, and make sure you're in a well-ventilated area because you're going to relieve the fuel pressure that's in the fuel rail. So take a small punch, and inside of there is almost like a tire valve. You can kind of see the end sticking out right here. And you just want to push the end of that in. And just to make sure there's no more fuel pressure there. Right, remove your safety clip right here at your fuel line, line rail. Now you need the release tool to release that. Now this is just a cheap set I picked up at Harbor Freight, but they do the job. So you want to find the correct size in the kit. So you want to find the correct size in the kit that goes around the fuel rail. Press it in until you hear a click. That releases the jaws. You can remove your fuel line. Now I would recommend before you put this back on, put this in a bottle, hook your negative battery terminal back up, and just turn the key on and back off so that any dirt that was laying in here or in here that got down in there gets flushed out with clean gas. You don't want to have any of the dirt that was here and got down in that line to get pushed into your brand new injectors. Release all the safety latches and unplug all of your injectors. Okay, and then there's a line of 10 millimeter bolts to hold your inject fuel rail in place.
All right, I don't know if you can see, now I'm running an issue. This nut isn't breaking loose from the stud, the whole stud spinning, which is causing the whole sensor and everything here to spin. So I'm gonna have to pull the sensor out of this bracket. And that way this whole thing can spin out. Make sure you remember which order these go in. I'm gonna use one of these magnetic strips that you can pick up at Harbor Freight. Usually get a free coupon for them. And that way I can lay everything out on the strip as it goes. And lay everything out on the strip as it goes in order up the side of the engine there. All right, now this is gonna be snug. So you wanna make sure you try to pull it and wobble, wiggle it a little bit, just a little bit at a time. That way you don't break any of those injectors off in the, in the uh, intake. And don't forget to take your back bolt off. Carefully fish and inject the reel out of the engine bay. All right, all you need for this is a flathead screwdriver. Very gently, just work the retainers off each injector. Do not pry or bend, just carefully work them off. As you can see, it's just a clip that holds them into place. Then just carefully just kind of twist and pull. Show that again. You just do this with all six injectors. Doesn't matter the order. Get your clip off. Get a good hold of it and kind of twist. And 
Cool. Do that with all six. All right now you wanna examine in all these holes and make sure there's no dirt or anything in there. If there is, you wanna clean all of this out. Come along with a clean paper towel and clean all the inside of those holes out. All right, this is the point where you may make sure your hands are clean. You don't want to get any dirt on these O-rings. I'm gonna put a small amount, just a very small amount of lithium grease. Use a white lithium. You can use an assembly lube or something like that. On the O-rings, and then you have to press them back into the rail. All right, make sure that they're all fully seated into the rail. And then you want to make sure that they're facing the correct direction. The plug comes on this side, not over here. So make sure they're all facing that way. And then you can put your clips back on. Each of the injectors has a small groove right here that the clip slides into. Make sure you're not pressing on the plug. So hold it up. Insert that clip into that groove and slide it until it snaps into place and make sure your injector then is clipped into place. And to do that with every injector, make sure that you slide these clips in so that the slot on the side of the clip engages the tapered part of the injector rail. And then these metal clips clip into the groove that's in the injector. All right, now before you lube the bottom O-ring of the injector and install it, Make sure you look in all of your injector holes and make sure they're all clean as well. If there's any dirt or debris in there, make sure you get it out with a clean paper towel. You can do basically the same thing I did with the rail, kind of ball it up into a ball. Stick it in there. Just kind of whirl it around in a circle and just make sure there's no dirt in there. All right, once you have all those holes clean, you can now lube up the end of all of your fuel injectors. And you don't need a lot, you just need a real thin layer. Okay, then once you get all of them lined up, just gently pop them down into place. Make sure all your plugs are up where you can get them. All right, if you have one of these where the nut won't come off of the post, you're going to have to hold the nut down here and then crank this nut off. And just put all these in loose first. And that way you can get everything lined up nice and straight. You can all turn them in by hand. The last thing you want to do is cross thread something that's holding your fuel injectors in that's aluminum. You're not going to get a second chance. I did this injector upgrade on my daughter's 99 Cherokee. 
And it's the only thing I did. I did not do plugs, wires, or anything. And she said she saw a 17 and a half miles per gallon on the highway. That's running factory gear ratio, automatic transmission, with 31 inch tires. So she saw an increase about one and a half to two miles per gallon on the highway. All right, I've disconnected the battery again. You want to make sure that this is completely clean. You don't want any dirt on here because you need to make sure that this seals. You don't want any fuel leaks. Now I'm going to smear a little bit of grease on there. Make sure you slide it on straight. You'll hear it clip. And then you want to put your safety clip back on. And that locks it into place. All right, now you want to hook your battery back up. All right, once your battery's hooked up, you want to turn the key and just let it on the on position. Do not start it. Okay, and with the rag here, you want to push this little valve in, and you'll hear air come out. You just want to push that in, and then you have to cycle the key again. You want to keep doing that until you have fuel come out. Okay, a little bit of fuel coming out, but a lot of air, so this should be the last time. All right, now no more foam, it's just all straight fuel. Take the rag out. Put your cap back on. And that's how you install the four hole fuel injectors on a Jeep Cherokee with the four liter engine. Thanks for watching Big Frogs 4x4. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you want to see more videos of how to on the Jeep Cherokee and the Cherokee series. And also, don't forget to hit that bell if you want notified as each video is released. As always, God bless.